Warm greetings everyone, I hope you are well on this uh, fine day. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, I'm looking at a game called Eddie Kid Jump Challenge, uh, yeah on the ZX Spectrum, published by Martek Games in 1984. It's an 8-bit game of course, which also came out on the BBC Micro and the Commodore 64. It says here in the instructions, Eddie Kid is without doubt the most naturally gifted motorcycle cycle stump man in the world. Well, what about Evil Knievel anyway? Well, in this game, you've got to judge your speed to jump over different amounts of uh, buses and cars and stuff. You start off on a BMX, so I'm just going to judge my run up here and hopefully we jump over. So it looks like a game I might have been interested back in the day, but let's just see how this game plays. If you had this one on any system, let me know. So let's just hit full power. I might even go head over heels here. If we do this, then I think we go onto a motorbike. Here we go, over barrels. Fingers crossed. Well, it wasn't quite full speed. Are we going to get away with that? No, I, well, I don't know what quite happened there. I, I suppose we didn't get away with it. Okay, let's give it, give it full speed this time then. Barrels 18, it says there. Not quite sure how what distance the run-up makes, but the whole thing is about speed. We we're going to land it or we're not. Come on, bike on man. BMX boys have a lot of fun. It's, it's Eddie Kid. It isn't Evil Knievel. Right, we're off. Is he going to make it this time? He should do. He's got full speed. He's done it. Hooray. Well, there we go. That, was, uh, that wasn't very exciting. Anyway, we're on a motorbike now. Uh, look out the wind speed. You can suddenly hear a bit of engine noise. Revs there going through the gears. So we just got to, I think, judge our speed. We can brake on the way going to it to get the right speed to do the jump. And if you want to, you can lean forward and back on the bike when you're in the air to try and balance the bike. But you've got to, well, land the damn thing and um, jump. Here we go. Exciting, is it? I'm not sure. I prefer wheelie when it comes to motorbikes. But anyway, we've got, we've got, we've got speed just by the second F of off. We're away. We're going to do it. We're over the cars. Do I need to lean or anything? I've done it, haven't I? Oh, no. Oh, right. Okay. He's gone, he's gone head over heels, crashed, and uh, he's still alive. He's all right. Martech Games 1984. Hopefully I'll get another go at this. Oh man, you just get one go and it puts you right to the start again. That would have... I've got to the BMX bit. Now that would have annoyed me massively back in the day. Right, because... Hmm... This, this game could uh, start getting on my nerves quite quickly here. We've got to do the BMX bit. So we know the BMX bit. We just need to go maximum speed, I think, and it'll just land it automatically. Unless I fluked it the first time. Not a big fan of this at the moment. Bit basic and annoying that you go back to the beginning each time. Land it, Eddie kid. Where's Evil Knievel when this is going on? Right, okay. So I presumably, presuming we went too quick on the uh, the first one. Hmm. So you, you judge your run up so you can get enough speed. And then you can stop and then turn the bike around and then go for it full, full power. Um, yeah. Right, so we've got to jump over eight cars by the looks of things. Turn around, Eddie. Go, go, fly, Eddie, fly, fly, Eddie, fly. Right, a bit less speed there. Let's go on the second F then of off. That's why I'm lining it up with the brake. Surely this time. Don't look like we need too much speed here. Won't bother leaning in the air. Let's keep it simple. Right, we're off. Is he going to do it? He's coming down good. For oh, what? Yeah, I hate this. And now we've got to go right back to the beginning again. Score null. I hate this game. Maybe it's one you've got a purse of beer with. Just to repeat, Eddie Kid is without doubt the most naturally gifted motorcycle stuntman in the world. Well, not in this game. Controlled by me, he isn't. That is for sure. Were there any Evil Knievel games? I might have to look those up. Now, if you've played this on the BBC Micro Commodore 64, is it as frustrating as this or is it a little bit easier? I mean, this first bit is easy peasy, isn't it? It's just full full speed and jump. And we're over the barrels. Good. Now, it, it seems like on his BMX he can jump further than he can on his motorbike. So um, why don't you just ditch the motorbike, jump over the Grand Canyon in his BMX? So I, I'd spit slower then this time, do you think? We was on the second F before. Um, right, OK. If it doesn't do it this time, I might have to... Yeah, we'll reset the thing. Let's go on the O. O, O, O. It's magic. Or is it tragic? Could be. We'll find out now. I wouldn't recommend tracking this one down at the moment. I really wouldn't. Right. Off we go over the cars. Coming down. Lean forward. Oh, goodness. Right. Now, normally, if I was just here on my own and you weren't here, 
I turn this off and never play it again. But I am I'm aware I need to give it at least a chance um, uh, for terms of reviews. Now, this, these uh, reviews aren't always about expert gameplay. It's find out what your experience would have been on the first or second go you played the game, and would there have been enough there for you to want to go back and play it again. Um, I wouldn't have done. If you bought it with your pocket money, you might have persevered with it. If you, um, if I'd got it bought for a birthday present or Christmas, I would have been a little bit of annoyed because you know, this bit, easy, easy as pie, easy as falling off a log in a hurricane. This is this bit. Then it gets a bit stupid. Now I'm guessing because in the instructions, here, I'm guessing it says in the instructions you can lean forward and back on the bike. So I'm guessing you've got to balance it out with the speed you're going to. But I wouldn't have had the patience to do it. But once you fluke that at least once, I'd imagine you'll be going to other levels, jumping more and more cars. But if this is all the gameplay has to offer, just go a ramp and jumping over stuff, it's going to get boring very, very, very quickly. Right, I'm going below the O this time, you might have seen. Might be too slow, who knows. Seems got the distance, and then he loses control right at the end. So there's obviously a trick where you must, I don't know, push forward just before you, you land or something. If you know, let me know in the comment section below, but you've probably already done that so far. But you had it as a kid and not many other games, you would have persevered, because the kids had a bit more patience than, uh, well, what I do now. And, um, yeah, you would have been going forever. But even, even if I was perfecting every jump, I still think I'd get bored very, very quickly. Right, BMX boys. We know how this goes. He jumps over 18 barrels and lands it. As an adult, I'm more interested in what's in the barrel. If it's beer, let's uh, forget about the jumping. Let's open the beer barrels and have a good old party. Nice clouds. Well, I say nice. Are they just blobs of mashed potato in the sky? They, they do. They'll do for 8 bit clouds. I can't knock those. Right, what's going to happen now? I think we know. I'm going the slowest I possibly can on the speed to see if that makes a difference. Right, he's away. This is the slowest you can do it. And I've lost control again. Hate, hate this with a big capital H. Big capital H, big capital A, big capital T, big capital E, and a big exclamation mark. Having said that, though, I can see some people who perfected this and had it in the day might get a bit of nostalgia for it and they might like it. So I might I'm, I grant that. But as, as a newbie adult, hate it. With nostalgia glasses on, if you had it back in the day, you probably like it. But, you know, it's going to split it. You don't always have to agree with the person that's doing the review, uh, so as you know already, hopefully. Uh, you can f formulate your own opinion, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm not big on this one. Won't be playing it, won't be playing it again. Unless it's by accident. I won't be. There wasn't an Eddie Kid Jump Challenge 2, which I'm aware of. Oh, God. I... There we go. I, sh I was trying to lean on the bike there uh, early, which I shouldn't have been doing, and I fell off early. I was trying to experiment with these few extra keys I hadn't been um, um, doing. Right, so this is it now. This is the last time. So we'll do the BMX thing. I'll try and lean back and forward on the bike, because it's obvious you need to perfect that to land any of these jumps. And then we'll say goodbye, get out of here, and maybe pretend this game never existed. Here he goes. We know how this ends. Stickman lands the bike. Good old Eddie. Eddie Kid, right? He's not related to Jody Kid, as far as I'm aware. So we're just uh, I don't know what speed to do now. Just turn the bike around, full speed. I, I think we'd be better with a parachute. We can brake as well as I was doing there. Right. So let's use all let's use all the keys this time. So get a bit of speed up, brake if we think we're going too fast, and then try and lean forward and back on the bike, and I'm bound to land it the uh, first time. What do you think? Well, we will we all know how this we all know how this goes. Take a bit of speed off. Right now, lean back or forward? Should I have leaning forward? No, lean back. Oh, he leaned forward too much and went into a stupid somersault. Ugh. Right, I know I said that one was my last go. It's not addictive or anything. I leant forward too much. One one last. This is definitely the last go now. Leaning back. I don't need to lean forward quite so much, maybe, or maybe just. Lean forward slightly, then lean back slightly, and hopefully the the bike doesn't lose control in the air. Those magnificent men in their flying machines, they go up, the up, up, bang, go down, the land, down. I don't think that song is about BMXs or indeed motorbikes. Last chance, come on, Eddie, you're you're being watched by all those people in the field, which is no one, not even not even any cows turned up. Right. Maybe, maybe this is in his back garden. He's just having a bit of a practice. Right, go, Eddie. It's now or never. Come hold me to it. 
display. So I leant forward last time, maybe too much. Maybe I can lean back, who knows. But here we go. The game I'll never play again. The last jump ever. Here we goes. Lean back. Oh, yeah. Burn it. Burn this game. Burn it. Burn it. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. Shall I have another go? I don't know. I won't. Now, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Eddie Kidd's Jump Challenge, which I don't like, on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Marsec Games in 1984. Um, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. There's a chance you might have got a bit more out of the game than I did, but I've got zero patience for this one, that's for sure. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.